say goodbye to this forehead right here. Say goodbye because guess what? I am getting my bangs back. I just got home from work. Let's go cut my bangs and get back to, oh, there's flyaways everywhere. Oh no, I'm gonna have to get used to the bangs again. But let's go get my beautiful bangs back. We are doing it, I'm so excited. Every single day I keep looking in the mirror, looking at my forehead and it's just not natural and it doesn't look good to me anymore. So we're gonna say goodbye to it. I came home, I took a really quick shower because she said that I, my hair needs to be clean, which I didn't know because I'm not getting like a hair wash or anything. She's literally just cutting my bangs. Took a shower, I didn't even straighten my hair or anything. I'm just gonna kind of go with it, but we're getting them back. But they've grown out all the way down to like right here. We're going to do it. I don't know how I feel about them. I feel like they look like my ones that I cut and did the straight across. I don't know. Like she did add a little bit of layer there. She didn't style them. So maybe I'm gonna go and style them and see how that turns out. Ruth is like, pay attention to me, please. What? She's like, okay, let's go style them because they are just not, I'm like, I can't win to lose. Look, that, oh my gosh. Let's try to <laughs> style these. <laughs> I can't win. I'm like, please, like, make it look fine when I style it, or else I'm gonna be crying at work tomorrow, walking in with these bangs. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, they look so good on my friend, Sienna. So good, but like, I don't know. I don't know if it's like me looking in the mirror, or if it's just, I don't know what it is. Like she did cut them like to where they're not completely straight across. Like there's some layers and stuff. Like look, if I put my hair up like this, well, they're not coming down. If I put my hair up like this, it looks like this. I think it might just be the styling of them. We are warming this guy up. This is the one I've always used that I've showed y'all even back in London. Oh, they're not even sticking. Oh, there we go. Yeah, y'all, that looks better. Okay, so we take the side pieces that she was doing and we just curl them. Ow. Maybe I do need to get the dice in. But see how that looks more natural now? Who do I look like? If you said Taylor Swift, that's right. She does her part like that sometimes. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to wet them tomorrow and figure it out, but we're back. Are we going anywhere special, you may ask? Indeed, we are. It is Friday, I just got off of work. I am in my jean outfit with my cowgirl boots and we are going thrift shopping or AKA furniture shopping for my new apartment because I'm so sick and tired of it being empty. I want it to feel more like home. I want to have a homey place that I can go and decompress in, you know, like I'm ready for it to be mine and my everything. I love my bed so far. So I always go with white normally, but I love the pillow sheets. I got them from Walmart. So the coloring is wonderful. I think it's super cute and quaint. These pillows, the ones that are behind, the big ones, See the ruffles on them? I got them from TJ Maxx. If you are curious about where I'm getting my stuff, that's it. And then this little piece right here, where my Kindle is on top, I got this at Nadal. Nadal in Austin, Texas. It's spelled N-A-D-E-A-U. And it's actually one of my favorite furniture places that we went to. The pieces are so unique and so wonderful. I might even go back by there because I need to get a TV stand. My couch is coming in tomorrow. I'm like really excited for, really excited because I haven't been able to like come home and sit on my couch. I haven't been able to have a couch since I've gotten here and it's been over a month. So it's gonna be really nice to have a couch back. I think we're gonna go try Goodwill and then of course different antique shops around the city. I don't know how late they stay open. We're gonna see, come on. It actually smells weirdly good in here. There is this dresser that's $30 and it looks a little broken, but like, 
I can fix it, maybe? Isn't that what we always say? That Goodwill did not really have anything. So we're now going to a vintage shop. That's five minutes down the road. It is called Room Service Vintage. So we're gonna try there. The dresser, beautiful color, beautiful handles, everything. But the drawers, you couldn't even pull them out. They weren't even on hinges or anything. Like they were stuck in it. So I didn't wanna have to like fix it up and everything. Even though that's a steal for $30. But I just, I don't have enough room in my car either to take that. So I'm like, who can I ask? This looks pretty neat. Room service vintage. Cute chair, cute comics. Oh my goodness. We're now at Target because I couldn't find anything at that place either. It was really cute and quirky and stuff like that, but like not in my way. There is something about Easter and this holiday and the designs of them. I just die. Look how adorable. Okay, I did not find anything worthwhile except for two shirts, work shirts. So I got two shirts for work, but nothing for my apartment. So now we're gonna go to TJ Maxx, I think, because I'm really motivated to find something for my apartment and I feel like I'm just like not being successful at it. I got a few things, let's go over it. My tops I got from Target. So this is the neck, it goes up to here. It's very flattering. So I got this in white as well. Ginger candies, Madeline loves these, like ginger candies and I do too, so Shout out to Mad. Love you, miss you. Hope you're having fun studying abroad. Storage clips. Paper towel holder. Salt holder. This for my spoons so I don't have to keep using paper towels. These little bowls for my olive oil. Whenever I come home, Ruth and Phoebe like yell at me when I walk in the door. What'd you do? Why'd you go? Why'd you leave us? Ruth? He just misses me. Oh my goodness, hi girl. Okay, I will see y'all tomorrow for the couch. Gotta clean up a little bit, do some chores because I've been lacking coming home after work. I'm just exhausted and don't really feel like cleaning, vacuuming. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Come here. So I got my couch. Wanna see it? She's laying on it already. Huh? It looks so good. I can't wait to decorate the living room and like expand more and just, you know, put up some pictures there, which I tried to find, as y'all know, yesterday in this vlog, try to find something to put up, little pieces, make it more homey. This is my dresser. So I need to find a TV stand here because that dresser is going to go right here, but I need to fill these walls and I'm really excited to do so. I already have some things out that I got yesterday as I showed y'all. Little spoon thing, salt right here, olive oil right there. So I do have a cookie jar. I also double wrap them so they stay fresh even longer, even though this thing has a seal. It was so funny though, because I seriously thought that the movers are gonna have to, the couch movers, were gonna have to go up the stairs with this thing and it would have been terrible. <laughs> they couldn't fit it in the elevator, but they figured it out. They had to like rotate it and then move it up at a certain angle at a certain time. It was complicated. They tried like three times before they got it right on like the fourth. We're really happy. I need to break it in. How do we break in a couch? Okay, so I don't really know how to dis I don't really know how to describe the ceiling. I'm laying here on the couch. I have my window open. The sun is out. I am lounging with the beautiful sun and on my new couch. And I'm watching Megan. Y'all know one of my best friends in London, Meg Mackers. But I told her she gets to be updated with me all the time. So I asked her to make me a vlog so I can get updated with her. And so she put together a vlog and she actually sent me it. It's soya milk for tea, but when you put normal soy milk in tea, it curdles. Like, it goes all funny. <laughs> I cannot tell y'all how nice it is to have this couch. So nice. Look how big it is. You guys can probably tell from the screen. I am so ecstatic. 
to have a couch. I have been doing little details today, so I signed up to pay monthly for my mattress. So I'm paying around $30 a month for my mattress, paying for my car payments. I am paying for everything, but like I'm making sure I have everything in order. So I just got my Texas license plate in. I need to go put that on my car. I say I'm gonna give myself the weekend and the Saturday, and I am mostly stuck on my phone whether that's like looking up things, um, looking at some TikToks, and then going and doing YouTube research, like different ideas, like video ideas, all that stuff. So I feel like I never have enough time in the day. And then Sunday hits, I prepare for the work week, and then my work week comes and then I have like no time to do anything. It's hard, it's like a cycle that I'm in, but I'm trying to do little things to try to better the cycle. And then you guys are probably asking me like, Izzy, how do you pay for all these things and like keep track of them and budget, all that stuff? You need a budget, that is what I've been using. This is not sponsored, as you all know, I have never had a sponsored video. It's called You Need a Budget, YNAB, Y-N-A-B, and that is how I've been keeping track of my finances, how I've been budgeting for things. I just paid my credit card statement for this month and that was a huge hit because this month I paid for a lot more things than I normally do. So like furniture things, including couch, like all that stuff. It was like a really big hit. And I realized I don't have as much money as I thought I had, which is okay. I'm still able to live and enjoy my life, so I'm okay there. But it was it was an eye opener. <laughs> it was it was painful a bit. Sometimes I look back, and I'm really proud of myself. And I sit back and I'm appreciative of the things I have, but I'm also very proud of myself. I'm paying for pretty much everything. I think my phone bill is something I'm fixing tomorrow, actually. I'm going to Verizon tomorrow to switch over and I'm sharing a plan with my older sister to save some money so I don't start my own plan and have that cost a lot of money, more than it should. So other than that, I think that's all transferred over. I need to think about my insurance and stuff. Huge adult things, right? I'm like, why am I talking about this? It's kind of stressful, but it has to be done. I am actually thinking of doing a whole vlog over corporate for dummies or adulting for dummies. I have an ongoing list on my phone where I'm writing down questions that I have no matter how silly they seem, no matter how stupid it may seem or ignorant, which it isn't, but no matter how much it may seem to other people that way, I'm writing them down and I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna answer the questions because now looking back at this list, I'm just like, oh, sweet, innocent Izzy, just had no idea, but I've experienced it, I've gone through them, and so I'm going to answer them for you. For today, I have How I Met Your Mother on, I have been in that TV series, I have this on, I have my House of Flame and Shadow book on my Kindle that I have to read, so I'm going to indulge in these two, but also at the same time, I'm going to work on a few YouTube ideas. I really appreciate this Saturday. <sighs> I'm just, I feel so much better. I don't know what it is, but I feel so much better about my life now that I have this couch. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like it all kind of like falling into place and everything's clicking together, me and Austin and everything, and you know, hope for a really great life and future here, just everything being settled. I feel like the more I get settled in, the more happier I become with where I'm at and my situation and everything. So when this couch came, I just had this moment of, this is just amazing. It is 80 degrees outside right now, the sun's out. I should be outside, but I'm giving myself time to relax and chill because next weekend I will be outside doing an event and just celebrating, having fun, going out. And so I really like to prioritize my YouTube and my future dreams and endeavors that I want to be in. I have to be a little bit different than the rest of my friends in a way so that I can create the future that I want to because they're not going for this future that I want, which is totally fine. It's just not their dream. It's not their passion. It's not their goal, but it is mine. So I have to act differently than most people if I want that, if that makes sense. So think about like Kobe Bryant, not to compare myself to Kobe Bryant, but like Kobe Bryant had to act differently than the rest of his peers to be able to get to where he is today, right? He couldn't sleep in when other people could sleep in. You know, he couldn't skip practice or not go to practice like other people going out to bars or like hanging out or doing something else. He didn't do those things. He had to do those other things that aren't as normal to his peers and people around him because he wanted to be the best of the best. So I had to be that way too. 
I have to stay home even though it's a little bit strange for them to be like Izzy why are you working on a weekend or why are you you know putting time and in, investing your time in YouTube on a weekend but it's because I want to be different I have dreams and goals that I want to achieve and there's gonna be no change if I don't change I have to change to find change that I want there you go have that mindset on you for this the end of this vlog but I love you all so much I will see you next week I am going to continuously start putting more and more vlogs out. I'm just feeling more inspired on my YouTube. So thank you again for following along. I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all soon. Love y'all so much. Bye.